this video is for you if sometimes you do something with students trying to learn computer science and you do something that sort of looks like lecturing. First tip, just don't lecture. Okay, so there's a big range of stuff that can be considered active learning, but in general, these things that don't just involve students listening, but involve students doing things, talking to each other, solving problems, those are much more effective for students and their eventual learning. Okay, number two, motivate the content you're teaching. So you can't force anybody to learn anything. If they're not interested, they're not going to take anything away from it. So figure out how does this content connect to what they've already learned, to their personal life, to so things that are socially relevant, to things that matter to other people in their lives. Try to motivate the content. Number three, make your learning goals for students explicit. So if they don't know what you want them to learn, what are the chances they're going to learn it really well? Okay, so try and be as explicit as possible about what you want students to understand, what you want students to be able to do. Make that concrete and explicit. Number four, try and encourage questions. This can be super helpful. I'll say, you know, like, okay, what about that didn't make sense? Can anybody ask any questions? Assuming that students are going to have questions is really key. They find that people will ask more questions if you say, what questions do you have? Rather than, does anybody have any questions? Uh, the second one assumes that, you know, well, if you're a fool or you haven't been paying attention, you might have questions. And the first one says, oh, hit me. What have you got? What are the questions? Those questions are going to help other people understand um, this same content more deeply. Okay, force students to self-assess. Even simple stuff like, hey, I just tried to explain this thing to you. Did it make sense? Give me a thumbs up thumbs down. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about it. No, not so much. Okay, so that's just one just way to force them to check in on if they understood it. Another strategy is to have them solve a few problems and, and explicitly prompt them to say like, oh, let's think about the extent to which you're understanding this. My goal, as I stated explicitly in my learning goals, is for you to understand and be able to do this thing. You know, what additional work might be necessary for you to get to the place where you want you to be? Number six, Ask students for feedback. They like come to all your classes and they sit there and they're thoughtful. Listen to them and figure out what do they like, what do they not like, what are ways in which you can customize your teaching to better meet their needs, to better achieve your learning goals. Also, whenever you ask for feedback, whether it's thumbs up, thumbs down, or a survey, or anonymous feedback, etc., make sure that you go over the feedback with the students that you got and be like, hey, here's what I'm going to try and change, here's what I'm not going to change. Make sure you close that feedback loop. Last piece, number seven, make sure to explain your pedagogical moves. So sometimes you're going to do things that make students a little uncomfortable, like you're going to make them talk to each other, stuff like that. Uh, so make sure you're explaining to students why you're doing it. You're not just trying to be mean. Uh, that there's a point, and each of those points should align with what your learning goals are. Good luck lecturing.